Welcome to Cinema 6, where you can see today's movies at yesterday's prices in full digital sound and picture. How can I help you today? Good morning. I'm here to see Mr. Darvis. What did I do wrong? Sorry? Last time someone wanted to see the owner, I did something wrong. Oh, no, I'm the new manager. It's my first day. And you're already doing staff reviews? What? You've only been here for a few minutes, and you're already evaluating me. I've barely had the chance to get to know you. Oh, that just makes it worse. So is Mr. Darvis here? Yes, ma'am. I hope your review reflects I'm helpful and efficient. Mr. Darvis, the new manager's here, and uh, she's a keener. Love the new glasses, Jordan. Ms. Keener, so nice to meet you. I'm Rebecca. <laughs> my apologies. I'm, I'm looking for Ms. Keener, my new manager. No, no, that's me, but I'm Rebecca, not Ms. Oh, Keener. on a first name basis already. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Sorry for my formality, Ms. Rebecca Keener. I was very impressed by your resume, so much that I overlooked all the Lord of the Rings stickers littered across it. <laughs> Please, um, let me show you around. Uh, yes. Cinema Six is the last of a dying breed, an independent theater, a community theater, where everyone who comes through our doors deserves a special experience. Sounds great. Are there only five theaters in here? Major multiplexes just see people as faceless sources of cash, not us. Uh, but I used to work for yes, one of those. Yes, yes, you come from the world of corporate multiplexes. I forgive you. Uh, I... Okay. Our main goal here is to rekindle a special magic that feeling of community people once had with their local movie theater. <laughs> Very retro. <laughs> oh. My style is a little uh, hands-off. I have numerous irons in the fire, as it were. Many fingers in different pies, so to speak. A woman in every port. You're a very busy man. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a very busy man, and, and that's why I need managers here who will help us build our community profile and still keep things on a steady course. Yes, sir, not to worry. You'll find both of my hands firmly holding this place steady. Oh, bless you. Reminds me of my granddaddy's last words. Always keep a tight grip. Careful, kid, you're shaking the ladder. Can I ask a question? You just did. <laughs> Right, so you call this place Cinema Six. Rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Yeah, but I only counted five theaters. Where's the six? We never speak of that. Andrew, lovely to see you. Even if it is a bit late. George kept me trapped in the car. He's a goose. Oh, well, he looks human to me. <laughs> no, I'm not a goose. George is the goose. Who's George? The Goose. I'm fairly certain we established that. He terrorizes people in the parking lot, and mostly staff. I'm sorry, <laughs> he terrorizes people? Chases them and bites them, and in my case, he kept me trapped in my car, and when I tried to make a run for it, I got goosed. <laughs> and nothing's been done about this? He's a very shadowy character. Animal control can never find him. He's like a ghost. You never see him until he wants you to see him. And then... <gasps> okay, I'm sorry. We're still talking about the same animal here? I mean, <laughs> how scary and smart can a goose be?
All right, Andrew, I'll uh, leave it to you to show Miss Keener the ropes. Oh, Andrew, uh, could you order some signs that say employees must wash their hands after using the washroom? You want quotations around the word hands? Yes. Hands. Why separate the word hands? I've been reading a lot of internet articles lately. I don't think it's our place to tell people how to label their body parts. Okay. Leave it with me. In my hands. Wonderful. <laughs> we are stocked and ready. Great. You were busy, so I signed for the cute Twitchy girl who serviced the video game machines. Was that today? Okay. Uh, can you tell everyone to get together? We're going to have a team meeting. We're going to introduce Rebecca. <sighs> Problem? Am I wearing glasses? No. Do you need glasses? So we should. Yeah, probably... right. Let's start upstairs with the projectors. Yeah. So that's our systems and projectors. As far as the snack bar goes, I assume you know your way around popcorn poppers. A little older than what I'm used to, but yeah. <laughs> I might still have some questions about the digital projectors. Yeah, it's fine. I'm here practically all the time anyway. When I'm not, I'm just a call away. All the time? How does your family feel about that? I don't have much in the way of family. I mean, it's just my uncle, really. But I don't see much of him since he got so deep in BuzzFeed. Mm, internet addiction can be awful. Oh, People are BuzzFeed's old. what he nicknamed his wood chipper. Okay, gang. So, this is Rebecca. She will be our lead on evenings. Rebecca, this is Frank. You know, pleased to meet. And Isabel. Hello. <laughs> and Sunny. I love your hair. Thanks. Give me your hair. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jordan, you've met? Looking forward to working with you all. Uh, if you need anything, just let me know. Your hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the big news. This Friday, thanks to some connections from Mr. Darvis, we will be showing a huge action sequel a full week in advance. We need extra staff on hand. So spread the word, there'll be more hours available. Sequel? You don't mean. Yes. In a world where people lack guidance, one man stands firm to point the way. With his feet, Cardinal the Boxer 2, turning the other cheek. Coming soon. So it's a good business for us and an exclusive engagement. Come see me about breaks. Let's have a good night. I'm gonna go upstairs to the office and do some work. You good here? Yeah, I'm ready for anything. Yeah. Hey, Jordan. Uh, yeah. Are those your glasses? No, but I think Mr. Darvis wanted me to wear them. Where'd you get them? Lost and found. Can you see anything? Lots of shapes. Can you tell the difference between people and popcorn? People are colorful and move slow. Popcorn is a naked color and moves fast in hot oil. Naked people move fast when you spray them with hot oil. I mean, I think. Okay. Take those glasses back to the lost and found. Sunny, go restock the candies. And stay away from the popper. 
I need a manager immediately. Yes, that would be me. How can I help you? This machine is showing my son pornography. This old 8-bit machine? Well, the monkey has no pants. I saw more than a wiggly monkey. I saw a picture of a woman. A naked woman. Naked. In a public place. <laughs> my deepest apologies. We have these machines serviced by an outside company. Just today. Today? Uh, Okay, we can get them back in here and have this removed. Jordan, do you remember who it was? <sighs> Hard to forget a cute girl with an odd sneer. Great, so we... Did you just say sneer? Yeah, I thought she was judging me. It can't be. So, they say you quit. I knew you couldn't make it here. <clears throat> Not like I had much of a choice. You guys kept preventing me from becoming a manager. I knew you didn't have management material in you. A bit of a challenge and you quit. <laughs> Looks like you played yourself and proved me right. <clears throat> What's wrong with Haley? She offered to sneer for me. I didn't want to. It causes wrinkles and I like smooth skin. <sighs> okay. Whenever I'm done with your click, the nepotism, the passive aggressive notes, I'm going across town where they appreciate my value at Cinema 6. <laughs> <laughs> that old place? <clears throat> Haley, enough. Once it all falls down around you, I'm sure we can find something a little bit more your speed. Like maybe on our janitorial staff. <laughs> I thought you said she was our best employee. I remember when you said that because, well, I cried all night. Remember? We'll kill two birds with one stone, ruin Cinema 6, and have Rebecca begging for a job back. Best what? Whatever. You're like a sister to me. Does that make me your best employee now? <sighs> no. Sneering. I'm sorry. An apology? What, you think that mere words can scrub my child's mind from the filth you have exposed him to? Look at it! Well, it was, it was there a minute ago. Of course, and I believe you, but we have to see if we can recreate the circumstances. I'm not good with video games. Jordan? I'm on a board game league. I'm Candyland Grand Master. No, we need someone. <gasps> I... Uh... Oh, yeah. Again, my apologies. Twice, twice my child has been exposed to your filth. Your son's exposure was unfortunate, but we needed to make sure we couldn't repeat the problem. Unfortunate? No, it's a scandal. How can I, how can any parent be expected to raise their child properly when the entertainment community constantly exposes them to hypersexualized imagery? I have a smartphone. I have a very angry Facebook post welling up inside of me. I can't change what happened, but just to show you how seriously we take this, these are for the snack bar, anything you want for free, plus a week in advance, super exclusive VIP screening of Cardinal Kickboxer 2. In a world where people trip over the Ten Commandments, he kickstarts their faith with his ten toes. Cardinal Kickboxer 2, don't cross the cross. Ready PG, due to extreme violence. I hear he kicks the beating hearts from two men at once in this one. Oh, thank you. But you understand my position. I can't let nudity stain my child's innocence. Happy to help, and there's no nudity in this one. Just lots of blood. 
So, the video game didn't cause as much trouble as we thought. But I think we have something better. <laughs> you see, I felt as if the glasses let me see from a totally new perspective. Isn't your break almost over? Look, stop taking glasses from the lost and found. Just grab an old pair of the 3D glasses and punch the lenses out. Yes! Thank you. Raisins? No, thanks. Come on, they're nature's candy. Nature should stick to things it's good at. I think we're okay with the mom who saw the nude screen. That being said, I think it was done on purpose. Yeah, my thought too. The receipt that Jordan signed wasn't from the regular supplier. It may be because of me. I didn't exactly leave Mega Filmplex on the best of terms. They've always been a thorn in our side. Just tell staff to keep an eye out for anyone acting on. Here? <laughs> I know it's my first day, but it isn't odd to describe a large number of the people that work here. I'm certain we're fine for now. I mean, not like the Plexer's gonna be digging up any trouble this soon. Should be in this dumpster. Keep looking. See if you can find the office garbage. You really think we can steal their special movie preview from them? <laughs> I wouldn't be out here working this hard if I didn't believe so. Keep digging, come on. Make sure it looks like an animal did it. I found a shipping form. No, this is an order for straws. What am I looking for again? Unusual transport instructions. Something with a security code, time codes, change of pin. You know what, just look for bags. Wait, um, what was that? You should be listening to me. Okay, this is a very valuable learning experience mm -hmm. for you. There's something out there, moving in the darkness, like, like a ghost. Yeah, there's nothing out there, okay? Now get back to digging. I'm getting cold. I have a bad feeling about... Did you hear something? Like what? Nightbreath. Sound of two people screaming as they're attacked by a wild bird? That was oddly specific. Learn to recognize sounds. The slowing pop of corn as it's close to burning, the hissing of fountain drinks as they're running out, the unique music of a child vomiting in an aisle in a sold out theater. Should we investigate? You'll discover at any point, there's hundreds of things that can go wrong at any turn. It doesn't ruin the customer experience. Don't worry about it. Inventory, everything's accounted for. Thank you. Thanks for your help today, Jordan. I just realized you've been here all day. Yeah, my mom says I'm like a sponge. You're trying to learn everything you can about business. What? No, she says that my clothes, skin, and hair smell like popcorn, cream soda, slushies, and baby vomit. Have a good night. Thanks. So, the 3D glasses? Pick your battles, Becky. Pick your battles. Here's the movie pass logs, boss. All good. Thanks. So, Rebecca, Arbex, Becky with the good hair. We should hang out sometime after work. Um, yeah, sure, once I get settled, maybe. <laughs> Great. Girl power. We can tell each other our deep dark secrets from summer camp and like get our hair done together or something. And I can watch your hair billow down as the scissors like. Uh, maybe. Um... I also like to scrapbook. Let's put a pin in that. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold you to that. I eagerly await your answer. So I noticed Sonny and Jordan had a bit of a funky smell after they left the theater. Something like. 
regurgitated caramel popcorn that passed through a cat. Do I smell? Uh, there's a product called Dumpster Fresh. Cut it with a lot of water and use it in the shower. It'll kill the smell. Hmm. How much water? It differs by person. If it just blisters and doesn't burn your skin, then your hair won't fall out. Hmm. Where can I get it? I'll lend you a spray bottle of the industrial stuff before you go. And hook you up with this link to a Serbian website, just so you can order more. Serbian. Hello, hello everyone. Rebecca, how was your first day on the job? Um, great. Educational, fun. I can see why you love this place. She's a great fit. I'm so happy to know. I would have been here earlier to offer guidance, but I became absolutely caught up with my chocolate lab. Oh, you have a dog? Uh, no, no. I know how this works. This is where you say, no, it's a lab where I make chocolate. No, I was talking about my puppy. <laughs> Who has a chocolate laboratory? Uh, Willy Wonka? Well, uh, we have all the candy I'd ever want right here. Except for anything with raisins. Decomposed trash snacks. Wait, did you get past George? I thought I heard screaming in the parking lot. It seems our friend George is absent from the lot. One of those mysteries for the ages, I suppose. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, if you excuse me, I have to catch up on the day in my office. Uh, Ms. Keener. Sir? Really happy to have you on board. Thank you, sir, that means a lot. And Andrew, mm. make sure she goes home with a bottle of dumpster fresh tonight. Now. Already on it. And you, here's your recipe. Speaking of mysteries for the ages, why is this theater called Cinema Six? Is anything named? It's a name. But there's only five theaters. Where's the six? We never speak of that. Okay. Well, if there's nothing else I can do, maybe... There isn't. You can go home. And I was serious earlier. You're a good fit. Thanks, boss. I'll take that as a compliment, I think. Well, I'll be here bright and fresh tomorrow. Ah, speaking of fresh. <laughs> Cut it with a lot of water. Ah, gifts on the first day. I love it. <laughs> See ya. George? George, are you out here? I'm, I'm just on my way home. I, I mean you no harm. What are you doing here? It wasn't supposed to be like this. <laughs> Did you have something to do with the video game machine? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> No, I have to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 not again! Oh, my face! So my perfect skin! Oh, yeah. Oh. Hello there.